So in this question, we have a first order reaction um, where you have nitrous oxide plus carbon monoxide becoming nitrogen gas and CO2. Um, you have nitrogen or NO um, that's in this layer up here and it's diffusing through this gas film, which has a length L, um, onto this catalytic, catalytic surface where it is reacting. We're given the diffusion coefficient and the constant for the reaction um, because we know that the reaction is first order. Um, so it's, uh, the reaction rate is equal to K times the concentration of NO. Um, and we're given the area. So what we want to find is the um, mole fraction of NO at the catalytic surface and the concentration at the surface. So what we can do is start with our uh, command flux equation, which in this case says that the flux, I'm going to call it uh, compound A, is equal to CD minus CDAB times di XA by di Z. Um, in this case, we actually know that because there is no reaction going on in the film, as it diffuses through this uh, boundary layer, um, the derivative, so di and a by di z, is actually going to be equal to zero. So we can actually we can apply this derivative onto this equation to give us that zero is equal to di by di z of minus c d a b di x a by di z. So this gives us that if we divide by the constants, um, which is c and d, uh, we actually just get that 0 is equal to di squared xa over di z squared. Integrating once, c1 is equal to di xa by di z. Integrating again, xa is equal to c1x, ah, sorry, c1 Z plus C2. So we actually have a linear concentration profile throughout this film. Um, so now we have to find our boundary conditions, um, which is a little difficult in this case because we actually the only thing that we really have is this um, the concentration of X or of compound A at uh, L, so in this uh, upper region. So we know that the boundary conditions X. A at L is equal to X A L, um, which in our case we're given is 0 0.15. Um, but we also know that at Z equals 0, which is at the catalytic surface, um, we have that the flux is equal to minus the combined flux equation, C, D, A, B, di, X, A, by di, Z. Um, but this is also going to be equal to the reaction rate because that's what's changing. Um, so this is K times the concentration at Z equals to zero. Um, so simplifying this a little bit, we get that K1 times X, A at zero is equal to D times di x a by di z. Essentially, all we did was divide both sides by the negative sign and by the total concentration C. Uh, so from here, we can get that uh, di x a by di z is equal to k1 times x at position 0 divided by the coefficient. Uh, diffusion coefficient. So we can substitute this into our derived profile over here, which says that this is equal to C1. Uh, what we can also do is plug in, plug everything into this equation so far for the total profile. So we know that at xA of 0, this is equal to C1 times Z plus C2. Um, and since z is 0, that just says the mole fraction of A at 0 is equal to the constant C2. Okay. And next, what we can do is 
write the general equation, x a at z is equal to k over d x a times z plus x a at zero times z plus x a, which means that we can factor out x a at zero, and this gives us k over d z plus one. So we still haven't solved this completely because we don't know this value, but what we can do is write a, um, essentially divide this by a known value. Um, so by this I mean we're going to say x a at any distance z over x a at l is going to give us x a at 0 times k over d z plus 1 all over again x a of 0 times k over z l this time plus 1. Um, so by having this ratio this actually works because everything here is known we can cancel out this factor, x a at 0. Um, so we can actually just get a profile for the uh, mole fraction at any z with respect to the mole fraction at our distance l. Um, so what we want to do is solve for this, uh, the value for the mole fraction at z equals 0. That's what the question is asking. So we get that x a at 0 is going to equal to k over d times 0 plus 1 over k over d l plus 1 all multiplied by x a at position l. So this term goes to 0. That just becomes 1 over 1 plus k l over d times x a at L. Substituting in our values, this gives us 0 0.15 over 1 plus 0 0.05 times 0 0.001 all over 10 to the minus 4. Uh, we're given in the question that this is 0 0.001 meters or one millimeter. So this eventually, if we substitute in all the values, gives you a value of 0 0.1 uh, for the concentration. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is find the actual, or sorry, for the mole fraction. Next thing we want to do is find the actual concentration at, of NO at the catalytic surface. So in order to do that, we just need to find the total concentration, which, as we know from the ideal gas law, is C is equal to the pressure over RT. So substituting our values, this gives 1.2 bars times 10 to the 5 pascals over 8.314 times the temperature of 500 Celsius plus 273, since we're converting to Kelvin. And this gives us a value of 18.7 moles per meter cubed. And so the next thing we can do when we want to find the concentration of A at zero is simply multiply the two. Uh, this gives 18.7 times 0 0.1 is 1.87. Um, the next thing we want to do is find the molar rate of removal. Um, and in order to do that, so of removal of compound A. In order to do that, we want to find the flux, um, which flux at the surface actually, uh, which as we know from before is equal to this minus C D A B times di x by di z, 
which is equal to C1, uh, which is a K times XA at 0 over D AB. The values for D cancels out. We've just calculated minus CXA, this uh, product of these first two terms, times K1. This will give us 1.87 times K1 is 0 0.05. This gives us a rate of removal of minus 9.35 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per second meter squared. The last thing we want to do, is because we're finding the actual molar rate, is multiply this flux by the total area. So Na is equal to Na times a specific, or per specific surface area, times total area. That just gives minus 9.35 times 10 to the minus 2 times an area of 200 centimeters squared, um, giving us 0 0.02 meters squared. Leaves us with the rate of removal of 1.87 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per second. Um, so the last part of this is just a reminder. The negative sign here is actually just indicating that we are removing instead of um, introducing or uh, having a generation of this. Um, so physically, um, that's just what the minus sign represents.